Hey, bro, you're here. What are you doing here? Yeah, I'm thinking about having some revision in life. Hey, I'm here to study room too. Because the room is so hot lately and our campus is so dry. Yeah, it's actually a true thing because I think I can study in my room. Yeah, it's me quite too. hot. Very so hot. So that's why maybe we need at least something like humidifier in our room. Humidifier? What is that? Hey, you don't know. I don't know. Oh, you need to see this video first. Oh, okay. Let's show me the video, bro. Okay. okay. The process in which the moisture or water vapor or humidity is added to the air without changing its dry bulb (dB) temperature is called as humidification process. This process is represented by a straight vertical line on the sigrometric chart starting from the initial value of relative humidity, extending upwards and ending at the final value of the relative humidity. In actual practice the pure humidification process is not possible, since the humidification is always accompanied by cooling or heating of the air. Humidification process along with cooling or heating is used in number of air conditioning applications. Studies indicate people are generally most comfortable when relative humidity is maintained between 35% and 55%. When air is dry, moisture evaporates more readily from the skin, producing a feeling of chilliness even with temperatures of 24 degrees Celsius or more. Cooling and humidification process is one of the most commonly used air conditioning application for the cooling purposes. In this process the moisture is added to the air by passing it over the stream or spray of water which is a temperature lower than the dry bulb temperature of the air. When the ordinary air passes over the stream of water, the particles of water present within the stream tend to get evaporated by giving up the heat to the stream. The evaporated water is absorbed by the air so its moisture content, thus the humidity increases. At the same time, since the temperature of the absorbed moisture is less than the dB bulb temperature of the air, there is reduction in the overall temperature of the air. Since the heat is released in the stream or spray of water, its temperature increases. In heating and humidification psychrometric process of the air, the dry bulb temperature as well as the humidity of the air increases. The heating and humidification process is carried out by passing the air over spray of water, which is maintained at temperature higher than the dry bulb temperature of air or by mixing air in the steam. When the ordinary air is passed over the spray of water maintained at temperature higher than the dry bulb temperature of the air, the moisture particles from the spray tend to get evaporated and get absorbed in the air due to which the moisture content of the air increase. At the same time, since the temperature of the moisture is greater than the dry bulb temperature of the air, there is overall increase in its temperature, 